Hey Measuring Hero, Jay here. Today I thought we would bring Michael in because we actually share a desk together and uh, I get to overhear some pretty cool and intense conversations that he has around uh, the medical industry. So I thought you should meet him. Uh, but before we start, Michael, can you introduce yourself to everyone? Sure. Thanks for having me today, Jay. That's a great opportunity. Um, my name is Michael. I'm working here in that fantastic customer center in uh, our headquarters in Obkochen. And um, I'm actually heading the global application team in the field of medical. In the field of medical. Okay, what is medical? Well, the field of medical is, is in the first instance, a highly regulated driven industry. So we are talking here about a large number of parts having a direct impact to the, the people's life. For example, if I take orthopedic implants, um, we are talking about parts coming directly into your human body, like spare parts, which you know from your old Mustang. Yeah, yeah. So those spare parts actually go into the body. Correct. Uh, so Correct. It's, it's, it's far more uh, uh, intense, I guess. Um, what are the challenges that um, customers that are choosing to go into this field, what kind of challenges do they face? As, as mentioned, it's, it's a regulated driven industry. So they really have to guarantee that all their processes are validated. They have to guarantee that they have a seamless uh, traceability of their product. Mm -hmm. And in the last instance, they really have to go beyond what usual quality insurance means. Yeah, me means on the one hand side, we can really support them overcoming these hurdles of the regulatory, for example, FDA, CFR Part 11. Um, and on the other hand side, we really have to understand what they are doing, understand their process and understand the challenges they are facing too. Absolutely. I mean, it sounds like it's far more uh, complicated than automotive, you know, <laughs> like automotive and automotive spare parts. Uh, um, what um, what uh, processes do uh, we begin focusing on then? First of all, we have to know that these products have to work flawlessly under the demanding physical conditions in your human body. So for example, if I, I, I brought an example for you here, <laughs> um, if I look at this, we have just a spare part for the knee. If you yeah. just say, okay, your original knee is worn out, you had an accident, whatever, and you have to replace your original God-given knee <laughs> to this spare part, yeah. um, this is just simply possible. So the production process is in the first instance dependent on the material we are talking about. So for example, this knee model here consists of three parts. It's the femoral here and the tibial tray, both out of metal. And then in the middle, you can, um, yeah, you know, metal on metal, especially in the human <laughs> doesn't body. Doesn't go well. <laughs> doesn't go well. So you have a plastic layer in between the, oh, wow. um, the insert, um, which is just as a layer between these two metal parts. So here I can really say we have two products out of metal. We have a metal manufacturing process and in between a plastic process. Wow, all in, all in one, uh, all regulated, all to make uh, custom made for each individual person, all to make someone able to walk again, I guess. Correct. That's Correct. crazy. Uh, what are some of the uh, uh, quality uh, check processes that, that are, uh, um, required mm -hmm. in uh, uh, making something like that. So I, I just take that out and take that as an example. For mm -hmm. example, this, this femoral part here, um, that would be manufactured with a metal working process and they, they really start with the raw material. So they take the raw material and then go for primary shaping. Means forging, casting, or even additive manufacturing is possible. Wow. Then they go into processing with turning, milling, grinding. Mm -hmm. And then in the final step, they take care about the surface finish with uh, coating or just polishing. As you can see here, the highly polished surface. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then if, if we know these, let's call it kind of a blue line going through that production process, we can um, think about the quality gates each of the production processes have. Cool. So at each step of the manufacturing, process from just that one part, from raw material all the way through to a finalized part, there are pulse points that we can uh, trace back to with, with our knowledge. Correct. Uh, um, Correct. And then each of those pulse points are highly regulated also and... and... Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. Wow. Do, 
maybe I can give you some examples. For sure, that. sure. Um, for example, the well, especially in the CMM business, well-known incoming inspection or final geometric dimensioning. So for incoming inspection, you just look at the, let's call it the begin of the part, um, and you just make a decision, is this part worth it to add further value or is it not? Uh, so look at some dimensions. Mm -hmm. Can I process this part or is it not yeah. worth it? Right. And then at the end of the production, you again look at the part, look at all the GDNT, and uh, you make a decision, is this part now thumbs up okay or mm -hmm. thumbs down not okay? Because of course you can imagine if um, during a surgery, a position of a bore is wrong, that's really not it's good really if, bad. if somebody's lying <laughs> yeah. there with a cut at knee. Yeah, yeah. You can't remake Correct. that part while, while they're open. Correct. Of course, there, there are also other quality gates we have to take care of. For, for example, technical cleanliness. So technical cleanliness could be checked along the whole value chain of producing such parts because there the implant manufacturers really have to take care that they can detect and classify any particulate contaminations. Yeah, and that's really important because you can't, you don't just want to make a perfect part. You also want to make sure that the par perfect part is clean and debris free, particulate free. So it's got to live in a body. So correct. And okay. it should stay there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay. So if I'm hearing, I, I, I'm hearing the challenges coming uh, at us from all directions. In one breath, there is, um, uh, adding value during the production phase from incoming inspection all the way to final part. Uh, there are issues with doing it in a way that doesn't add contamination. Um, there's also governing bodies that make sure that we want to document and do everything perfect. And we can do all of this uh, at Zeiss? Sure, sure. So on, on the one hand side, we really support here the to, I already mentioned it, to overcome these hurdles of regulations with our software tools. And then on the other hand side, we really um, guarantee for each quality gate in the production steps um, that we have a solution for that um, to fulfill incoming inspection, to fulfill technical cleanliness, uh, to fulfill the final geometric dimensioning and so on. Perfect. Okay, so here's what I think we should do because there's a lot to unravel here and unspool in the overarching uh, uh, medical industry. Um, maybe let's come back and deep dive into each of these. Let's measure a part and find out the challenges there. Let's talk at some point maybe about um, uh, software validation and or and then another, you know, let's let's deep dive into each one of these so that because I it absolutely sounds fascinating, something to learn about. Sure, I, I would appreciate it. Um, would be a pleasure to just go through the whole blue line going through the production processes. We also didn't talk about the plastic process and uh, then look for the quality gates. Perfect, sure. perfect. Well, let's do it. Sounds like a plan. So um, I look forward to more, um, more video blogs with you and your team. Um, and uh, with that, y'all, uh, I want to thank you for joining us uh, this and every Thursday. We hope you continue to stay, to stay safe and stay healthy. And with that, we'll see you next Thursday. Thanks. Take care.